sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah Good morning guys, welcome to another full day of eating and there's a special purpose behind this video because I did alter my macros a little bit and I've done that from the beginning of this week. You guys are seeing this on Friday but I've changed them since probably Sunday or Monday. I wanted to see how my body responded and now I want to tell you guys about that so I'm going to take you guys through my day, what I'm eating and kind of why I'm changing my macros but I'll go through that throughout the whole video so make sure you stay tuned for the end rather than just talking a ton in the beginning just take you guys through my meals for the first meal we're gonna have breakfast this is gonna be my pre-workout meal we're gonna make a smoothie and if you follow me on Instagram or um, snapchat then you have seen this before hopefully you can hear me it's just such a nice day so I wanted to be outside but it's gonna be 55 grams of oats 160 milligrams of milk fat-free milk scoop of vanilla protein powder handful of spinach, add some ice, blend that all up and that is going to be our pre-workout slash breakfast meal for number one. Macros I'm trying to hit for today, 170 grams of protein, 245 carb and 45 fat and I will tell you all the reasons for that as we go throughout the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this, enjoy the meals, thank you guys for all the continued support and I'll see you guys inside. And this is our final product. Pretty good. Definitely will fill you up because you put that the oats in there and that helps a lot. And I ended up only putting 130, <coughs> 130 milligrams of milk in there, but I still needed some more liquid at the end because as you saw wasn't um, blending very well, so I just added some water, which is good. And it was easy to change my milk in here with the My Macros Plus app, so it went from 160 milligrams to 130, nice and easy. So this meal is 104, or sorry, this meal is 42 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, and about six fat. The other thing I wanna show you guys about this app is, one, it's not annoying like My Fitness Pal, because if you miss a few days of My Fitness Pal, how many notifications a day do you get reminding you, oh, now's a great time to add in your breakfast, now's a great time to add in your lunch. So this does not do it, but if you have a smartphone, like an iPhone, and you go to your today, and then you scroll to the bottom, see it has remaining macros there. So it'll calculate everything. So if you don't want to go into the app, you just pull down the toolbar, hit today, and it's got it all right there. So that's another cool feature about it. I'm gonna enjoy this, got a busy day. See you guys for the next meal. Heading to the gym now, but first I had to run a few errands. It's almost 10 o'clock. Only had that first meal hold me over for this workout, and it's just arm focused, so like biceps and triceps. Not gonna record that because it gets pretty basic, but I am wearing the Paragon t shirt. And if you guys are ever interested in any of their clothes, remember that I have a 10% discount to them. It's GMIA. All that information is always down below in the description box again. That's Paragon. Clothing's really nice. They have women's sizes and men's sizes, so I think that really helps and separates them from other clothing lines, so pretty nice. I like it. Paragon Fitness. Check them out. I'm going to head to the gym. I'll see you guys later. Workout was great. First time in a while where I worked out and didn't have to film anything, so definitely a different feel and got done a lot quicker. It's almost 12 o'clock now. It's less time in the gym, which is good. It wasn't cardio day, so I didn't have to do that. But just real quick, I wanted to go over some of the supplements that I'm going to take or continue taking during this beach prep. And I'm just going to stay with the Platinum Series that you guys have seen in previous videos. And for the new subscribers who don't know, I did get a stack from Platinum Series from bodybuilding.com. 
you guys can check that out if you're interested. But during the workouts, I just sip on their Amped Recovery, which is like the Aminos. It does have caffeine in it, which is what I like to just sip on during the workout. And if I have this during the workout, I don't take a pre-workout since I work out relatively early. I just have coffee in the morning. And then with this caffeine in here, that's all I need. But then always after every single workout, I'll have their post protocol. So just throw this in my water, drink that on my way back from the gym. I have this after everything. So if I don't take this, then like I said, I'll take their scream, which is their pre-workout and then not have this during the workout. But I've been sticking with this mainly and that's pretty much it. And then just like protein powder four shakes, oatmeal, pancakes, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna head back, we're gonna get some lunch and I'll take you guys with me. I realized last time I was in the cafeteria there's a lot of background noise. So what I'm gonna do is talk now and then just play all the eating footage. But heading to the school cafeteria right now, game plan is the same as usual. I've got my scale with me. I'm gonna get rice, chicken, salad, bread and cheese, just the usual. It's easy to track, it's good, fills me up. So that's the plan. I'll show you guys the macros, take you guys all through that. And yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this. This is basically what I've been eating on my beach prep. And that's it. See you guys inside. Look at that, back in my car. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in my car, so that's why I film a lot in my cars between to and from the gym, to and from work, just running errands. So it's a good time to talk to you guys. But real quick, for especially for new subscribers, this is the second week of my beach prep, so second week of cutting. Um, I wanna go over my macros really quickly. I was gonna say this for the recap video, but since I am doing a full day of eating, you're probably wondering why my macros have changed just slightly, like nothing crazy, but still slightly. So now for this week, I've actually upped my macros just a little bit. Reason for that is, so if you're just joining a new subscriber, about three or four months, I was very bloated, didn't know why, a lot of problems with my eating and just how I felt. Being bloated 24-7 was not comfortable. I wasn't tracking at all, so some days I'd eat normally, some days I'd eat less. You know, it just depends on how my body felt. I was getting really frustrated with it. Put on some extra weight that I didn't want, now I'm cutting down. The reason I believe I'm able to up my macros a little bit is because I have been more consistent. So now what I mean by that is my body's gotten used to, okay, this is how many calories we're gonna take in and this is gonna be how many calories we're expending throughout the day and it's gotten used to that. I've been hitting my macros on point pretty much for the last two weeks and probably one to two weeks before I started this prep just because I wanted to get used to it. And now that my body is used to a certain set of macros, I think it's able to work better with the consistency. So that's what I have to say for you guys, just trust the process. I know people say that all the time. And they're like, yeah, yeah, trust the process, blah, blah, blah. And you're waiting for results, waiting for results. But you can only trust the process if you are consistent. If you are following a program or following macros and you're not consistently doing what the program says, or if you're not consistently following your macros every single day, then no, you aren't gonna trust the process because you aren't doing it. You aren't doing the you aren't following it. Um, so that's what I just have to say. That's why I've been able to up my macros just slightly, nothing crazy. And carbs actually did go up. And you would say, oh, you're losing, you want to lose weight, but why'd you up your carbs? But just the consistency, and this is what my body has been used to, and it's working. And my previous cut that I did and bulk, bulking, I bulked on like probably 350 grams of carbs. And I was able to start cutting on 320, 300, 275. So I am already at a pretty big deficit compared to my last bulk and my last cut. So already being at 245 grams of carbs is a pretty big difference. You're talking about 100 grams there of carbs. So if I want to continue this cut and this beach prep, if I continue knocking down my macros, it's going to get pretty low or I'm, you know, not eating a lot at all. So that's why I'm trying to eat as much as I can but still see results. That's what you want when you're cutting for a show or just because you want to cut just because. You want to cut on as much calories as possible because 
obviously you want to eat but then that's a good way to go about it too if you're eating you know 1200 calories 1500 calories it's not great especially the amount of time they're spending in the gym and cardio so you want to keep your calories as high as you can for as long as you can as long as you're seeing progress if you plateau obviously things are going to need to change that's why i made the change here just want to tell you guys hopefully that was short and sweet comment down below if you have any questions about that but that's the plan feeling pretty good time to eat meal number three i'm here waiting for school to get out but i do have this new quest bar now for new subscribers i always let you guys know about fitnessdealnews.com where you can subscribe and get emails of all deals that are come like deals on supplements, equipment, all kinds of stuff fitness related. Fitnessdealnews.com. They had a sale for it was $13.99 for a box of Quest bars. I picked up the Quest s'mores because I've never tried these before. So let's do a taste test and also I'm gonna finish these rice cakes. There's just two in here. That's gonna be my meal number three. Hold me over through work. I'll show you guys for dinner. But Macros on here are 8 fat, 23 carb, 20 protein, 1 gram of sugar, so I'm good to go. Give you guys a taste test. Never had the s'mores, it looks like. Let's see. Pretty good chunk. I think I like it. I'm getting just for time. Quest bars for me, they're chewy. But I think the flavor is there. I definitely like the cookies and cream, probably my favorite. But these are pretty good. So again, this is more, it's probably like a seven out of 10 personally. Just gonna eat this, have some rice cakes, go to work. See you guys for the next meal. It is just too nice not to end the video where we started outside. But literally today is one of those days where it looked like it's going to pour, like windy, clouds were black. And then now, looks like this, beautiful, but it is dinner time. I finally showered, got back from work. It's about 6.30, gonna have meal number four, which is going to be potatoes, green beans, chicken, and a little bit of creamy bacon dressing from Walden Farms that you guys have seen before. And then my last meal before I go to bed is just gonna be a bowl. Actually, and then my last meal before I go to bed gonna be a slice of the P28 bread and give me some more protein and carbs and then I'll put some peanut butter powder on top of that but I'll show you guys all that but before it got dark I wanted to come out here and film since it is so nice I want to take advantage of that but I'll go over all the macros at the end of the video let's see how meal number four turns out Your chicken potatoes green beans the one tablespoon of the creamy bacon dressing from Walden Farms is on the spinach, I added spinach because I only had half of the green beans that I thought I had, I finished the bag. So that's why I added it, no big deal. Now if you've never had this, it's a Maryland thing, you need to get it. It's great seasoning, I'm gonna add this to it, flavor it up a little bit. Enjoy this, see you guys for the next meal. If only we had tables outside, I would totally eat outside right now because it's so nice, but this will have to do. What's up guys? Last meal of the day it is a few hours later from meal four. I've been editing this video, I'm working on some homework. <clears throat> but I'm just gonna show you what I'm finish off the night with and then we'll go over all my macros for the day at the end. What we have is 20 grams of peanut butter powder, add water to that. And then we're gonna do one slice of this protein bread from P28. So good. Show you guys the macros. So. 3.5 fat, 12 carb, 14 protein. It's a really good macro, good source of protein when you get some carbs in there to do that. I keep this frozen because I'm not gonna go through it in like one week so that way it doesn't get bad. So just microwave that for like 10 seconds. That way it just softens up a little bit and then we'll pop it in the toaster make the spread and that'll be meal number five. Bread is so big, it only toasts like one half because it can't fit. So flip it over, Let's go again for a little bit. That's our spread. So just a little bit of water, good to go. And that is the final product of that peanut butter. So good. Hi. 
right, now we'll just go over final macros for the night. So, go to the app. It's got everything here. So, for meal one was the smoothie. That's in there. And then this is when I went to the cafeteria. Rice, chicken, the bread, cheese, salad. Meal three, the rice cakes that you saw, and the s'mores bar that I tried. I also had a few crackers at work, so I just added that in there. Only four. Not that big a deal. Potatoes, green beans, chicken, and the dressing, which you guys saw. And then this right here, slice of bread, peanut butter powder. So final macros for the night, 172.5 protein, 241.4 carbs, 40 fat, little under actually. So, and if you scroll up here to the top, Okay, so it went a little bit over protein. That's the carbs that I've left. Fat, so pretty cool. You can add people to your circle that you can follow on there and everything keeps track of your weight. And then also if you go here, gives you the percentages and then you, that's where you get your sodium, sugar, fiber. Fiber is pretty good. Sugar, I've been able to increase and have not too much problems, which is nice. So then it has everything there. I don't know why I look so orange in this picture, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed the full day of eating. This is what I've been pretty much eating for this beach prep, this cut, and that's what's working for me. I will change some things up, and then obviously in the recap video, we'll go over my progress and weight and everything. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy this. That didn't work out and the rest of this, this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Thank you to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. If you wanna see more full day of eating videos, please leave a like, comment down below if any questions you have. I love getting to know you guys. I shouldn't be eating with food in my mouth, but I am, so I'm sorry. But thank you guys, and as always, have a great week.